Opposition leader Barrel Jagdia has said that the budget has serious implications for the middle and lower income people. He said that the cost to these people could be astronomical. One area that these people could find troubling is the ban on the importation of cars of a certain age. I have spoken with most of the auto dealers and uniformly what I get from them is that this will impact on a large number of people because most of the vehicles that they bring in the country now are over eight years old. The decision to remove the age restriction on vehicles was taken by the late President Chadi Jagan when he acceded to the presidency in 92. Immediately, the number of auto dealers soared, but among them were the unscrupulous. Many had workshops that they used to enhance the appearance of the imported vehicles. One auto dealer say, said to me, if the new model Primo, a vehicle apparently that is in widespread use, the NZT260 would, which would now fall under the eight years um, restriction, were to be imported um, in preference to the older model, the 240, that the selling price will go from about 2.4, 2.5 million dollars to about 3.6 million dollars. The lowering of the excise tax should have avoided this, but Mr. Jagdio pointed out that the budget is silent on the taxes, especially on vehicles more than four years old. It is a certain group of people who purchase these vehicles. And so they will now have, if they want to own a vehicle, they will have to find at least 30% more to buy that vehicle. He said that he proposes to intervene by approaching Finance Minister Winston Jordan and President David Granger on the issue. To extend this eight years restriction to 12 years so that that group of people can continue to drive a vehicle and not have the additional burden of finding over a million dollars more for the cost of acquisition. Mr. Jagdio said that he can understand the reason for the age restriction. One of the reasons is the concept of the green economy. Some of these measures have been announced in keeping with this concept of a green economy, less pollution, and basically they cost more these vehicles to maintain through um, you know, spares, etc., importation of spares. But there is a downside. Guyana is no threat to the environmental aspect of development. He said that Guyana's per capita emission is about 2 tons, while places like the United States emits 20 tons per capita. Jagdio also examined the impact of the used tire ban. We take out more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere um, in Guyana, which is a global benefit, than we put into it. So from that perspective, we do not need to do this. Adam Harris, Prime News.